Diaz again. His name was Peter Labard, and he had one of the most luxuriant beards. Samuel, I hardly think that they care about his beard. His luxuriant beard. <laughs> Truth be told, I would wager a Greek god's vault stacked with galleons that there is not a child raised in the wizarding world today who doesn't know about the tales of Peter the Bard. Ew, uh, what about the long lost hairy heart? The wizard in the hopping board, the rabbit in the cackling stump. <laughs> Are you both quite finished? I would like to continue before my patience runs out. Would you look at that bird? What's that sound? Beckett's patience running out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Let's do what we came here to do. What's that? <laughs> right, theatre. Places. Well, what story are we telling? Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, this tale is undoubtedly one with which you may be familiar. It concerns the fortunes of three brothers. Wait. What is it now? Can I play one of the brothers? No, I never get to do it. I'm always, you know. You can be the second brother, but be careful. Always careful. My fellow witches and wizards. Everyone ready? We now present to you the tale of the three brothers. There were once three brothers who were traveling along a lonely winding road at twilight. In time, the brothers reached a river too treacherous to pass. But being learned in the magical arts, they simply waved their wands and made a bridge. Before they could cross, however, they found their path blocked by a hooded figure. It was dead, and he fell cheated, because travellers usually drowned in the river, but death was coming. He pretended to congratulate the three brothers upon their magic, and said that each had earned a prize for having been clever enough to evade him. The oldest brother, who was a combative man, asked for one more powerful than any in existence, a one that must always win duels for its owner. So death him one from an elder tree that grew nearby. And the second brother, who was an arrogant man, decided that he wanted to humiliate death still further and asked for the power to recall others from death. So death picked up a stone from the riverbank and gave it to him. Finally, death turned to the third brother. A humble and wise man, he did not trust death. So he asked for something that would enable him to go forth from that place without being followed by death. And death, most unwillingly, handed over his own cloak of invisibility. In due course, the brothers separated, each for his own destination. The first brother travelled to a distant village, where he sought out a wizard with whom he had once quarrelled. Naturally, with the elder one as his weapon, he could not fail to win the duel that followed, leaving his enemy upon the floor. The oldest brother proceeded to an inn, where he boasted loudly of the powerful wand he had snatched from death himself, and of how it made him invincible. But that very night, another wizard crept upon the oldest brother as he lay upon his bed, whereupon he stole the wand, and with it, the brother's life. So death took the first brother for his head. Meanwhile, the second brother took the stone that had the power to dead and turned it thrice in hand. To his amazement and his delight, the figure of the girl he had once hoped to marry before her untimely death appeared at once before him. Yet soon she turned sad and cold, for she did not belong in the mortal world. Driven mad with hopeless longing, the second brother took his own life so as truly to join her. And so death took the second brother for his own. And Third brother, death searched for many years, but he was never able to find him. It was only when he had attained a great age that the youngest brother shed the cloak of invisibility and gave it to his son.
Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?